Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we have got the game week three Premier League predictions. Game week two just finished a few days ago, I think. And yeah, we've had some crazy matches. Chelsea beating Wolves 6 2. Manchester City beating Ipswich Town 4 1. Brighton getting a win against Man United at home at the Amex Stadium. Joao Pedro scored a late winner. And yeah, guys, we have got some amazing matches coming up for this game week three. We got Manchester United versus Liverpool, Manchester City versus West Ham, and yeah, and and more crazy matches coming up. So let's get right into it. So for the first match of game week three, we've got a big clash: Arsenal taking on Brighton at the Emirates Stadium. So Arsenal, they've been decent in their first two games: two two nil wins against Wolves and uh, Aston Villa last week. And yeah, um, on the other side, we've got Brighton, a three. A win against Everton at Goodison Park on the opening day, and yeah, um, they've also got a 2 1 win against Manchester United. Humiliation again for us, no, and yeah, guys. So, Arsenal v Brighton, this will be a fun clash to watch, but I think my final score will be Arsenal 2, Brighton 1. For the next game at 3 pm, we've got Nottingham Forest versus Wolves at the city ground. And Nottingham Forest, they've had a decent start to the season. Uh, a 1 1 draw with Bournemouth and I think a win against Southampton. So it's been going decent for them so far. But Wolves, on the other hand, they haven't had a great season to start with. They lost 2 0 against Arsenal in the opening day and they got absolutely battered 6 2 by Chelsea. That was probably, probably my best game of the season so far. What like what a match that was. Medweke first hat trick. Cole Palmer got a hat trick of assists and a great volley by Cole Palmer as well. And yeah, what a game that was. But Nottingham Forest v Wolves. This could be a fun game to watch. But I think I'm gonna go a two 0 win for Nottingham Forest. So on we move to game number three. We've got Leicester City versus Aston Villa. Leicester City will be playing home at the King Power Ground. And yeah, Aston Villa, they've had a fine start to the season. Uh, a dodgy 2-1 win against West Ham. Durant scoring the winner and a 2-0 loss to Arsenal. But Leicester City on the, hand, on the other hand, they've been decent. A draw with uh, one of the best teams in England, Tottenham. Vardy scored a goal there and uh, a 2-1 loss to uh, Fulham uh, last week. So Leicester City v Aston Villa, but I don't think it's going to be a good a good day for Leicester City. Leicester City, nil. Aston Villa, 3 So for the next game, we have got Ipswich Town versus Fulham. And yeah, guys, I feel really bad for Ipswich Town. Two, uh, two really difficult games uh, coming into the Premier League. Yeah, guys, in my previous video, I said that if Ipswich Town beat Manchester City, I will... If Ipswich Town beat Man City, I will literally go to Portman Road, the Ipswich Town Stadium. I will literally go in front of that stadium in, a, in an Ipswich Town shirt, shorts, scarf, hat, whatever you want. And I will literally sing, go Ipswich, go Ipswich. They actually led against Manchester City for, I think, um like eight minutes or something. And yeah, guys, that was crazy. Like, the moment Ipswich led against Man City, I was shocked. Like, I just fell to the ground. Like, I was like, I must be dreaming. Ipswich leading against Man City. Like, that was just crazy. And I just started looking tickets for um, Ipswich's next game. But... Uh, Man City, obviously, they're going to make a comeback. And yeah, a good win for Man City there. So I'm going to predict a 2-0 win for Fulham. For the second last 3 p.m. kickoff, we've got Brentford facing Southampton at the GTEC Stadium at home. And Brentford, they haven't had the best start to the Prem. A 2-1 win against Crystal Palace and a 2-0 loss to Liverpool. So, and yeah, um, the other team, uh, Southampton, they've also had uh, two 1-0 losses against Newcastle and Nottingham. So, uh, not the best start for both of these Premier League teams. And so I'm going to go a 2-0 win for Brentford. This is Bournemouth. So Everton, obviously, they've, they're at uh, bottom of the table in the Premier League. And yeah, so Everton, they've uh, had a 3-0 loss to Brighton and a 4-0 loss to Tottenham. So, and uh, the other team, on the other hand, Bournemouth, they've had two 1-1 draws against Newcastle and Nottingham Forest. So... Not a good start for both of the teams again to the Premier League. So, uh, Everton versus Bournemouth. Hmm. Will we go uh, for uh, three straight draws for Bournemouth or a loss for Everton? 
I'm going to go three straight draws for Bournemouth. Everton, one. Bournemouth, one. So we now start getting into exciting matches such as West Ham versus Man City at the London Stadium. Um, hopefully it will be a good game to watch. Uh, so West Ham, they've had a fine start in the, um, in the Premier League. A 2-1 loss against Aston Villa and um, a 2-0 win against Crystal Palace at Sellers Park. And Man City, you guys know how they are. No need to explain. Just a 2-0 win against Chelsea. 4-1 win against Ipswich. And yeah. So this game will be exciting to watch, but I'm going to go a 3-1 win for Manchester City. Probably uh, a brace for Haaland and a goal for Foden, I think. Now time to move on to Sunday fixtures. Our first Sunday fixture is Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. So Crystal Palace are not the best start in the league for them. Uh, two losses, a uh, two-one loss against Brentford, and a two-nil loss to West Ham. We just talked about that earlier. And Chelsea, they've had a fine start in the league. Um, a two-nil loss against Manchester City, but obviously, um, they bounced back with an amazing six-two win over um Wolverhampton last week. Jackson scored a goal. Palmer scored a goal. Uh, Felix scored a goal in his Chelsea return. And um, Madweke got his first um, professional hat-trick. And yeah, really happy for Chelsea. But Chelsea with Crystal Palace, this could be a fun game. But yeah, I'm going to go another loss for Crystal Palace. I'm going to go Chelsea 3, Crystal Palace 0. Our second 1.30pm kickoff on Soccer Sunday is going to be Newcastle versus Tottenham. And yeah, this is going to be an exciting game. Newcastle, they've had a pretty boring like uh, run so far in the Premier League. A 1-0 win against Southampton and uh, a 1-1 draw against Bournemouth. Exciting game. But I'm going to go a 2-1 win for Tottenham. For our final game of match week three, we have got a big one. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool, a derby. And this will be really exciting. Manchester United, a uh, really boring start to the league, in fact. A 2-1 loss against Brighton um, uh, last week and uh, a 1-0 win against Fulham. Um, but that was a lucky goal, to be honest. And that's coming from a Man United fan, so... And don't be calling me out in the comments for like supporting Man United. Two two nil wins for them. One against Ipswich and one against Brentford. So Man United versus Liverpool. Hopefully we don't get a repeat of uh, of losing seven nil. Uh, yeah, I still remember that. That was like the worst day of my life. Seven nil loss. Like not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven nil. That that is just absolutely crazy. Like. That shouldn't be happening to a, a good team like Man United, but and yeah, hopefully not a five nil loss. Um, uh, what happened? I think uh, two seasons, uh, three seasons ago, when uh, Liverpool beat Man United at Old Trafford five nil, but prob we it'll probably be a loss, but um, probably hopefully not a much heavier loss. So I'm gonna go a four one win for Liverpool. All of those predictions bring us to an end in this Game Week 3 predictions. And yeah, I'm really excited for this Game Week 3. And yeah, so let's um, take a trip around the world and see what's happening in the world's other leagues. So let's go. In Syria, if we take a trip to Italy. And yeah, so in Syria, what is happening? Well, I've got the answers for you. Juventus is currently top on the um, on the Syria with uh, two out of two wins. And Inter is second. And AC Milan, they're currently struggling. They've got a draw and a loss. And most goal scorer, I think, is Retegui from Atlanta. So, yeah, let's see what's happening in La Liga. In the La Liga, Real Madrid is currently sixth in the La Liga. And, yeah, they've got a 3-0 win over, I don't know which side it was, but Endrick got his first goal for Real Madrid on his debut. And Lamine Yamar also got his first goal for um uh, Barcelona against, I think, Athletic Club Bilbao. And, yeah, he was playing against his... um. He was playing against his friend Nico Williams and they had a chat before the game as well. And so, yeah, let's see what's happening in the Bundesliga. In the Bundesliga, SC Freiburg is currently on top. And yeah, uh, Dortmund, Leverkusen, Bayern also in the top five. And I think the top scorer is Meyer for, um, I don't know which club, I think Wolfsburg. 
And yeah, so one final trip, and that is our trip to Saudi Arabia. In the RSL, Al Hilal is currently on top, and I believe Al Nasser is on fourth position. And uh, the highest goal scorer is Mitrovic with four goals, and yeah, Ronaldo also has two goals. Uh, he beat um, Al Wehda 4 1, I think. And yeah, guys, so that brings us an end to today's video. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know your predictions in the comments below if I should uh, continue this series because I wanted to go all the way to game week 38 from game week 1 to 38. And yeah, hopefully, I'll, I'll continue this in the next season 25 26. And yeah, guys, hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. So stay tuned. Goodbye.